Howdy doody fellas, welcome back. Uh, my name is Nipples the Clown, welcome to the Nipples the Clown channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic and I really appreciate y'all's support. Today I want to release a quick set of mod videos to mod and overhaul one of my favorite, favorite games, Bethesda's own Elder Scrolls of Marwin. In the world of 2024 Marwin modding, there's really three main options. You can do it through Nexus Mod Vortex, which you can use OpenMW with, OpenMW, or you can just do it by default. That is to say, good old fashioned manual. While I love Vortex for simplicity's sake, my preferred option will always be OpenMW. In short, OpenMW is a free, open source, and modern engine to redesign Marwin from the ground up. With new physics, new AI, new terrain loading, mod support, and much, much more. OpenMW is not a mod, but an entirely new base game engine. With it, Marwin modding has reached incredible new heights. And power. However, you will need an original copy of the Marwin legal license, and I highly recommend you get the Game of the Year edition. Today I will be showing you how to easily install OpenMW and get started in the Marwin Mods community. Let's get into it. Fellas, real quick before we get started, you got to make sure you back up all of your saves in OpenMW before you do anything. Um, you want to do this just in case because sometimes the saves do get overwritten, especially if you're reinstalling OpenMW or making any major changes. Uh, so how I suggest you do that is you, uh, you go to My Games right here. Uh, and then open MW and your save should be right here. Uh, so of course you can see my saves right here. Alex Jones, Bananakin Skystroker, and Ubi Dooby Banooby. All right, so for the installation, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the openmw.org slash downloads. Link is below in the description. Uh, this is for open Morrowind, which you'll need to run pretty much most of the mods these days for Morrowind. Uh, you're gonna wanna click on this download from GitHub. Uh, that will bring you over here. Uh, to the OpenMW version 0.48 release. Uh, to download this, you're going to want to go to the bottom and click the Windows, if you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on which you are. Uh, that will download. Um, from there, uh, you really just need to run the, uh, the installer. We'll wait for that to download. Once that downloads, you're going to want to run the, uh, the download file that comes up. Uh, it'll pop up asking if you want to run, make changes to the device, press yes. Uh, then that will pop up with an open MW 0.48 setup. Click next. I agree to the licensing. Uh, then you're going to want to figure out where you want to install this. For me, I just install this exactly where I install all the other files for Morrowind, uh, which for Steam is going to be under program times 86, Steam, Steam apps, uh, Steam common, and then Morrowind. Now, if you already have other mods installed, I highly suggest and you're using Open Morrowind, I highly suggest you have a fresh backup file of Morrowind. Uh, I always keep a separate backup file of Morrowind on hand just in case. Uh, you're going to want to hit install here. Um, and then just wait for it to install. Uh, once it finishes installing, you're going to want to hit finish and run. Uh, and it should pop up with a window like this with uh, any data files you might have already in there. Uh, for this one that we already have, I've already played a few different mods, so I have a few different little setups we can have here, but yours will be, most likely be blank in this content file. Uh, once you have Open Morrowind installed in your fresh Morrowind documents file, uh, you will see in here you will see a launcher. Uh, I suggest you make a shortcut for that launcher by just simply right-clicking, uh, going down to more options, clicking create launcher. Um, and then taking that launcher, renaming it whatever you want, and putting it out here. I already did this and just named it OpenMW. To download mods for OpenMW is super, super easy. Uh, for instance, if you want to download Morrowind Enhanced Textures, all you got to do is go to the nexusmods.com page or any other Morrowind mod website that you can find. It's really easy to download mods. There's a few things I recommend you check off before you get started downloading. First thing is go into this requirements right here. Uh, check this mod does not have any known dependencies other than the base game. Some other mods are requiring this file, but generally you want to check to make sure there's no requirements that you need to have higher up your load order. Additionally, you also want to read any installation instructions. Usually they're very simple and streamlined, um, but they might tell you something specific, like you need to edit one particular file um, and just look through all the rest of the mod. Read the description. It'll help you. Um, but other than that, all you got to do to download it is hit this manual button up here or click Vortex if you have Vortex. Uh, since we're doing OpenMW, we're just going to hit it manually. Uh, and then slow download, unless you have the premium subscription. Uh, in five seconds, that'll download. Uh, 2.4 gigabytes. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to download this twice. Uh, but that would download it for you. To install the mod is super, super simple. All you got to do is go to your Marwin file like so. 
uh, which again is programs 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then wherever Marwin is located. Here's my backup just for this mod video. Uh, and then you just got to figure out where to install the mod, which is super simple. If you open it up, it's going to say some very specific folder or area where you need to install it. Uh, usually you want to just install it in data file by default. There is not going to be a texture folder in here because we haven't installed any textures yet. Um, if, if you had any other textures installed for any other mods, this might already be there. All you'd have to do is just extract this to wherever your data files folder is. So I'm just going to copy this link up here, erase this down below, and then hit OK. And then that should copy in there. You'll see that texture file has already appeared. And once that finishes downloading, uh, pretty easy. After that, all you got to do is open up MW, like so. Um, and then you just have to find where the data directory is located. Uh, in this case, you're going to want to go to data directories and hit append. Uh, for you, it should be automatically default. But just in case you have to pick where your files are located, you go back to this Steam Apps 86 file, uh, click on where that's located, select folder, and then make sure all the folders within there are included. Hit OK. Uh, and then you want to want to refresh. After you refresh those files, uh, any new ESMs or ESPs that you have downloaded for any mods will appear here. And then you can toggle them on and off like so. Uh, and you can put them in whatever order you want them to be in for your modded playthrough. In this instance, I'm playing Starwind. So there's a whole bunch of different Star Wars mods here. So say, for instance, you want to have a very specific mod list, you can just create a new content like this, a uh, new mod list. And then uh, whatever files you select, so say, for instance, this, and then say I select all these Star Wars files, like so. They will now all appear under this new mod list. And then every time I play, I can just switch over to new mod list, like so. And then I can play those mods once I press play. It's really that easy. That's all you got to do to mod stuff. Uh, for the textures in this particular instance, there is no ESM or ESP, so nothing new is going to show up in the mod folder. Uh, but the textures will already be updated in the made mod package, so it will already work. Fellas, at this point in the video, I'm going to offer you guys a choice. If you'd like to download the Star Wars KOTOR mod for Morrowind called Starwind, click this video over here. Uh, and if you would like to download graphical enhancements and make the gameplay better, uh, like we're doing with Alex Jones, click the video over here. It's no stereo. Were you going to listen to...